What's going on? Move the Mouse here, back in City Skylines, Town of Rosewood. Let's play Season 10, Episode number 18. Man. So, uh, I wanted to work, get a little bit of work done over here first thing to uh, to start today, because expansion is one of those things that we do need to consider. Our, uh, we're all out of whack and have a ton of uh, residential demand. So, let's move some people in. May as well. I mean, we're not, you know, we're at 22,000. Like I said, I, uh, or not today, but I've said in the past, if you remember, uh, that I wanted to keep this uh, very small town built. So I think we're kind of approaching that cap. Um, something that we could do today also after we do this is maybe look at dropping in Project Eden. I don't think that's too big. We don't have the budget right now. We got to figure out our budget problems. I got to look at that. I keep saying it, but we're, we're slowly bleeding money. Which is going to come back to bite us at some point if we continue to ignore it like I have been. Um, it's probably a lot to do with our university, which is way, way over... Um, I was going to say over capacity. It, it has way more capacity than we need. Alright, so at least all those people can move in and get water. Um, quick look at things like... Uh, fire, police, healthcare, and schooling. So let's actually do the fire first, since we know what happens around here. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. All right. Um, sports arenas are getting their own uh, their own fire station here. Where can we tuck this one in? Let's do that. And they may as well get a little. A little campus police station, too. Okay, fine. You want to snap there? Snap there. We'll move you later. Or we'll bulldoze you if you're going to be difficult. Um, these roads can all go back. Sorry. To squirrel. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get focused today at some point. Uh, upgrade. Regular roads. Just because these pop-ups are going to drive me crazy. Okay, back to quick glance at fire safety. Where are we light? We're lighting these new neighborhoods. What if we did right there? That rounds out pretty good. It's a little police precinct right there. And then how are we over this way? Kind of kind of light. And since we'll probably be moving more people in, let's do this over here. Quick look at healthcare, death care, and education. And, and we won't worry too much about what's happening over this way. So we've got two big hospitals, a little clinic over there. Can we get by with just a little clinic over this way? And, and keep everything relatively in the green? I mean, that's pretty good. It's not perfect. And apologies to Rich that uh, the zone that we uh, we named is some of the least health care, but, uh, but they'll do fine. Look at this beautiful view. Look at this beautiful hillside. Everybody can see the lake because the, the next house down is just a little bit lower. Fantastic little neighborhood there. I love it. Um, Education. Didn't do education. So let's look at that. Where are people not educated? Where they just moved in? That's okay. That's fine. That's going to happen. Two birds, one stone. Move them out. Can we get one right there too? Excellent. So there's high school and how's high school? Yeah, we're good. We're doing really good. You know, these people, the, the zones that just move in, they haven't been educated yet. So that's not a big deal when you look at uh, the schooling. So 
do I, why are we 10,000 in the negative? Do I, do I need to look at this right now? Um, it doesn't help that I took out loans just to, just to take them out. Pay now, pay now. Okay. So taxes, 12% across the board. Budget. Are we doing anything crazy on budget? I don't think that we are. Though I also realized that um, I forgot to do one thing, which is let's check death care over here. Pretty good everywhere. Do a little cemetery there on the main road. We'll make everybody happy. And do we do more? That's child care. That's all. That's covering most of the residential pockets pretty well. At least where the bulk of the people live. And then how's our elder care setup? We've got two. Let's do a third. Um, and this is in no means um, a bad omen or anything. It's totally fine. It's just a convenience factor that those are located so close together. Um, we're investing. We're investing in our, our youth and our elderly here in Rosewood. So... We're going to support you so you can pay taxes as long as possible. Uh, that shouldn't be a big deal. That should be fine. This is fine. What do we do, though? Let's go back into budgets. Economy. Economy, right? And let's see if we can figure out where our money's going. So uh, what are we expending? We're expending on roads and electricity and water. A lot on health care. A lot, a lot of money on healthcare and education. Education is by far our biggest expense. So let's go look at the university. Let's go trim some stuff back. Um, how expensive are sports? 4000 a week upkeep. 3000 Man. So these things better be generating a ton of money for the city. Otherwise... Uh, we have a four-star university. I'm going to look at this. I am going to look at this, but for right now, they're just decorative. Let's see what that does to our budget. We're 7,000 in the hole. Let's give that a little bit of time to normalize. That is a ton of time, ton of, ton of money that we've freed up from the budget. Uh, that's intersections. We're in the we're in the green now. What is our education? We we chopped eleven thousand dollars off of our education doing that. That is a crazy crazy uptick. So I'm gonna have to look at this. I'm pretty sure. Um, what you need to do, I'm pretty sure. Don't don't take my word on this yet. But I think what we need to do is we need to fund uh, varsity sports better, right? We're charging a lot for tickets, but we're not putting any money into uh, cheerleading or coaching. Essentially, cheerleading budget uh, increases the chances of winning. And winning increases happiness in this. Winning increases happiness in the city. Coaching staff. I'm trying to explain school. Uh, coaching staff. Hiring more coaching staff increases the chances of winning also. So it's not spontaneous, but increases per coaching staff member over the span of 40 weeks. So you could spend another $25,000 to improve your chances of winning. And the more you win, the, the happier they are. And presumably, the more people will want to attend the game at higher ticket prices. But let's see, where was that? I think that was at 30 in the middle, right? Yeah, we'll just, we'll stick with the default 30. Not that it matters since, uh, since we're shut down right now. There were some doping allegations. And uh, sorry, I want to, please don't demonetize me, YouTube. Um, it's just a silly joke. And I'll stop. I promise I will stop. Uh, with that particular thread, not with silly jokes in general. These trees have been filled back in nicely. We are making a ton of money. So we'll, again, we'll, I will revisit this and, and the final university touches will be about uh, turning some of these back on. But I don't think in a small town like this, we can afford the upkeep of these stadiums. I don't, I just don't think we can do it. So I think, you know, I mean, in the cinematic though, right? Not that this is the final layout, but in the cinematic, this this makes more sense. 
um, or not that it doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't show the uh, the icon, so we can still have them kind of as decoration. We've already spent the money. We're just not spending the money on the upkeep right now, and that's okay. Uh, pretty sure I wanted to do something today. What did I want to do? Um, I think a real quick project we could do. Is this already flattened out? It is. So let's come and smooth some of these edges just a little bit. Just a little bit up there. And then maybe we could do a smooth slope, say from... Bring the road up like that. You'll see what I'm thinking in a second here. We're going to get two uh, two buildings up here. Do we make that more of a switchback? Would that be more natural if it was more of a switchback? Is it too... I don't think it's too steep for what it is. I think it's okay. So let's bring this back down around this way. Maybe we can come out and around this a little bit. That could work. Um, and I want to put two things up here. One is going to be under the Natural Disasters tab. No, it isn't. It's going to be under the Emergency Services tab, Natural Disasters. And that would be the Deep Space Radar, which detects incoming meteors. Very handy in my live stream cities. For some reason, I don't know why. They, they love to hit the cities. Um, and then the other thing we can do is going to be under the Uniques. Let's see if we can find that. So I think it's going to be a couple levels in. There we go. The observatory. So, you know, we will probably want to space these out a little bit. And and maybe more realistically, the, uh, the observatory will be looking away more often. So maybe we do that. And then let's move this down because that doesn't make sense to put a giant object right in front of the telescope. Uh, and then what if we had this like over down this way a little? Does that, does that make sense? They don't stand out that much. I think that's okay. I will, we'll take a look at what those look like at night at some point and, and shimmy these around a bit, but let's get them connected for now with water We'll run it down the road just in case we end up building anything off of here. We probably won't. But just in case we do, then there's water that's right nearby that we can connect from. And then electricity. What happens if we just run straight to it? How awkward does that look? We'll probably put some sort of power up there to prevent that uh, appearance of that line going up the mountain. Good enough for now, though. We I do I want to get these in there and kind of see what they look like from different parts of the city at different times of day. You know, maybe we cut back some of those trees to show the uh, the observatory a little bit better. Industry area level up. Okay. Pellet plant furniture factory. So out of storage worker barracks. Small trees happen feel. Okay. Well, I'll I'll get on that. We don't have to do that right now. Um, but maybe, you know, like I said, maybe we cut back some of these trees so you can see a little bit better up there. They don't seem to be getting in the way of where the telescope and the observatory will be looking. You're actually, can you get in there? Hold on a second. Uh, yep. Yes, you can. All right. So this is what the inside of the observatory looks like. It apparently doesn't want me to go any further than that, but that's cool. Can we get out? 
Yeah, it doesn't really let you get around there too much. Whoop, it's fine. All right, back out of that. Sorry. Um, uh, let's look at uniques. Let's look at some of our uniques because we've got we've got budget climbing back up, but we honestly didn't. I didn't look at too much, right? The only thing I did was turn off uh, our supports for now. We can certainly troubleshoot that a little bit. I feel like we're spending a lot more than we need to on healthcare. Maybe on education. You know, do we drop in the collider and educate our city with that? I don't think so. It's not a it's not a futuristic green city. It's just a, a, a relatively green city. Um, we could turn down things like road budget a little. We could mess with the uh, electric and water budgets. Um, but we won't worry about that too, too much. We'll worry about dropping in some uniques, which will bring in some more tourists, which should bring in some more revenue. So what do we need to have for Eden? So have we dropped all these in? Well, all the level ones are in. That is for the medical center. We're probably going to drop the mall in anyways, honestly. I think the mall is kind of a cool... It's just, it's something that you would have. The posh mall, I don't know. Maybe over by Greenwood. This one I talked about in a previous episode. No way are we doing that. It's a requirement for the space elevator, so... I'm not too worried about that. Uh, fusion power plant, fountain of life and death. Yeah, we could drop that in. And we'll do it just up here for now. This is a requirement for the Eden Project. So let's just go put this in our city somewhere. You can see I haven't been too focused on uh, leisure. We've got a park up there. Now this, I, I always wondered this. And let's, let's test something out real quick. Let's see if we can cheat the game a little bit. If we go into parks and park area tool, even though the decorations and, and the, the cool stuff is not there, can we say that, you know, hey, you live... You live right next to a park just by doing something like that by technically turning this entire area into a park even though the park paths and, and objects are only up here in this block that separates kind of the commercial main street from the residential back uh, neighborhoods there i kind of feel like this shouldn't be zoned this should be more trees here why is that why did i zone that let's get rid of this Let's get rid of that, too. Whoa, something popped up on me that I immediately jammed the B button on. Let's dezone that. Yeah, that's better. That's a little better there. So, yeah, let's let's see what that does for... Where is it? Uh, play three times speed. Let's see... Oh, man, that does a super good job at increasing land value, and we didn't do anything other than paint the area larger. So you can notice uh, a bunch of houses just leveled up and you can see all the ones that are building are, are upgrading because they live in a more valuable part of town now because all we did was expand the park area. So super quick, cheap way. And I think I knew that in the back of my mind all along, but just never, never took advantage of that. Now the other thing we can do is like we could put like a trampoline park over here and that's part of Charcoal Park. So that's kind of cool. Don't forget to do that to uh, help your town level up. But the other thing was why I thought of that was because when we were going to put in something like, you know, the friendly neighborhood park, this area was all in the red. And you can see it's still, it's still a little bit, but I think it tricks it out, right? So where can we get this? That's going to be on kind of a slope. I don't think I'm going to like the look of that. It'd be nice if we could get it in there, but we don't have room for it. Where's the relatively flat parts? Could we tuck it in right... Oh, we could tuck it in right there. Move a couple people out to do it. What if we do that? And let's get some pedestrian paths hooked up. And that was an Eden... Project requirement. That's what we're most worried about. So we'll skip to level three in just a moment for Eden requirements. Let's come over to our paths and let's see if we can get these kind of connected. Like so. And like that. And then we could connect 
some of these streets to the outer, uh, some of the sidewalks at these to get people walking out this way because we'll eventually have maybe a trolley or a bus line or something over this way. We've got a fire station right there, right? We do. Okay. So have at it by all means. That single bush is going to cause the rest of the block to catch fire. Um, it's not unexpected though. That is a kerosene bush. They burn, they burn very long time. Probably only I only put those in my town. I don't recommend you put those in your town for entertainment value. Uh, up here, what do we drop in? We dropped in a couple things that we didn't turn off yet. Got a budget, budget back up into the green. So yeah, let's turn these off for now. Nope. Right, that's off. I thought I turned that one off. That one's off. Okay. Everybody's off. Those people are complaining about garbage. That is fine. Let's look at... Let's look at level three. Let's get Eden in here today. So what is the requirement for Eden? That's space. We're going to put the tax office in. That's a good little small town one. I probably should look at these before I look at them all and drop them all in before I go in and switch back to individually turning them off. Uh, that is a medical center. Courthouse is kind of cool, but it's a really big building. So is Colossal Order. Way too big for our town. Official Park. That's a requirement for Eden. Do we do the helicopter park? Maybe. I think so. And I think we do Lungs of the City. And I think we definitely have to find a spot for Old Market Street. Okay, that is a space elevator. That is fusion. We already dropped it in anyway. So business park, that's a requirement for Eden. Where Do we have a spot for this? Let's go in the university somewhere. Like, I wish you could put this one over the road. Like you can do that archway. That would be kind of cool. I know on PC you can you can build through it with things like Anarchy, but uh, we'll throw this over here for now. It could work. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I mean, the Grand Library is kind of a cool one. Our budget is... We're, we're making money again, so I don't feel bad about spending money to, to leave this stuff turned off on the side of the map just to get a look at. You know, I remember what the buildings look like, but sometimes you need to see them in context. Floating gardens, maybe? Maybe we'll find a spot for that somewhere over here. Maybe that could be part of the, the casino, even. Have like a footpath that comes over from here. Oh, it needs road access. Road, not footpath. That stinks. Well, does it? Can we trick it out? Does it actually need? Yeah, it needs actual road access. That stinks. All right, let's try and do that real quick before we get back to finishing up our uniques, or at least finishing up dropping them in. How close can we get here? It's not perfect, but it works. Unless you're really in there looking at that connection right there, I think it's fine. Pay no attention to that. That little guy right there, don't worry about that guy. Um, okay, let's turn all this stuff off. We don't need to waste money on this just yet until we actually move it in. But those are all some pretty cool buildings that I think we'll find a spot in our city. Uh, that was already turned off. Right, as was that. Now that's now that's off. Those are all off. Okay. 
Uh, they're complaining about garbage up here, so should we just... We'll give them garbage service, that's fine. Okay, so uniques wise, I'm happy with that. This one's coming out immediately. <laughs> We'll put this all the way in the end so we don't forget. That one does not belong in our city. But for Eden, we will do it. Temporarily. Uh, academic library have five instances of public library. Do you have to unlock that every time? I feel like I've unlocked that and it doesn't stick. Aviation club. Maybe this one. It's a big one though. It's kind of that green theme. And I think this is too tall, but if we were going to have a landmark somewhere over by the stadium or something, or observation tower, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. And then level six. What do we need for Eden? That's really the only thing that I care about right now because I'm pretty sure all these are pretty big. That one's Eden, of course. All right, so that means we should be able to drop an Eden now. We can. Nice. Okay, so let's turn all these off. Let's find a spot for Eden. And then let's delete at least that servicing services tower. Um, it could kind of be a university thing. Maybe we temporarily put it in the university for now. Is that ruining our, our immediate happiness bubble, though? Like, do we really want it sort of centered on a residential area? We could put it, you know, it won't fit there. It would fit on this block if we moved a couple things out. But I don't know if that needs to be our main street focus. I think it could be kind of like some project that, that was developed by the university. So we, do we have room right here? This will work for now. We will reconfigure that, but it also, you know, it doesn't feel as out of place size-wise. Excellent. Oh, pause, quick pause. I can hear buildings leveling up in the background. I wanna see. So that's before we even put Eden in. That's, that's pretty good. I think that is one of the greatest cities I've ever done. 0.39 average ground pollution. Zero water pollution. That's pretty good. We'll take it. And that should only go down to where the... Um, you can see, actually, I don't know if you noticed, it. it, it is already... Uh, come on. It is already uh, starting to, to dwindle down. If you watch this, this might be a little bit more obvious where you have those, those rings. They just shrank. Um... And you'll, it'll get to the point where the only pollution is the building itself. And it won't affect anything around it. The ground, the water, the next building, uh, next door. Um, I'm pretty sure you can put a residence next to the recycling plant. They'll hate the noise, but they won't mind the, because there's no pollution once uh, uh, Eden Projects had really had a chance to kick in. So that's a cool little development for our town. What do we say for sure? We're getting rid of this one. Because we don't need that anymore. That was only to build the monument. Now the monument's built. We don't care. Uh, same thing with the cathedral. Like, this would be cool if we could scale this down a little bit. But it's too big. This is too big. These are all, I think, within reason. You know, if they're smaller than the the windmills that will be dotting uh, the area, it's probably probably good enough for me. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll try and move some of these around. I think, you know, the... Is this the oppression office? What is that? Um, there's a tax office. You know what I mean? Like some of these buildings, I think, would fit really good in our our little small town feel. And, uh, and we'll find spots for those. So things to do. Things to do checklist. 
Uh, we've got to hook up trains. We've got this. There's there's no train stopping because this is turned off. We can start bringing in people from the outside world via train. We could then hook up some train lines that are coming to, you know, our farming and forestry. And maybe we have a train line that, you know, serves internal only and delivers people to the hub and maybe to some spot on the far side of the lake. I mean, we could have it, you know, right here. And, uh, and it could connect to tram lines and things that are over this way. So uh, trains is definitely going to be something that we got to talk about in one of the next couple episodes. Uh, transport hub is going to be its own thing. So we'll probably do this first. Inner city bus and bring some of the existing trams to it to then get people in from the outside world onto the trams. And then same thing with the trains. We'll bring the trains over to here. Have that act kind of as a hub. So maybe we'll have the inner city bus which does have the option for bus lines. Maybe we can move a couple buses around. We'll bring the trams into that area. Um, we'll bring, <sighs> I just had an idea and it's, it's evading me now. Um, I mean, maybe we do a taxi stand. I don't know, but we'll get, you know, this connected to the campus, connected to the other parts of the uh, transport routes. It's coming along, right? It's, I've got to go in in detail and I've got to go in and clean up little things. Uh, but for the most part, I think this is, it's a really cool build. We'll, we'll look at this from multiple angles and decide how we want to shimmy this around. But you can see we're going to get some people visiting there. Um, we've got a bunch of uniques that I think, you know, are not too imposing that will drop in train transport hub, continue rounding off um, or leveling up the, uh, the forestry area there. Get some more production going, get some more industry jobs, and uh, we'll try and balance out uh, what we can. But we're going to cut the cord on bringing in new residents pretty soon. So um, maybe we'll cap it around 30. I, you know, like we're, we're getting there, right? Where I want to start to feather things off. Uh, you know, I don't want to go past those trees that I dropped in. I don't want to move residents onto the other side of the highway. I don't want to move them too close or maybe even at all above this four lane road towards the farm. Um, we've got to fix this up a little bit, right? This, this part right here, we got to get that worked out. Uh, but after that, it's a lot of detail work, filling in some of the gaps, deciding how far we want to push it, but not too much farther in terms of population. So uh, further, I always get those mixed up um, and technically they don't matter. Unless you're, unless you're being uh, overly critical grammatically. Um, if you are, though, hey, thanks for staying tuned. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed today's nonsense. Uh, if you did, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. At the very least, that, that thumbs up button is right there. It doesn't cost you anything. It's it's super easy. Come on. You hit it, you hit it already, right? You, you don't stay this long and not hit it. Uh, unless you don't like ads, and then maybe you do. Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop on that. It's it's mean at this point, but it's it's one of the in my years on YouTube. It's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. Uh, it's somebody that does not understand the platform or people's time um, or how ad blockers work or how YouTube premium works. But again, I'll stop. All right. Uh, where were we? <laughs> Outro. Uh, hey, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that a number of different ways. Watching the ads getting YouTube premium or supporting it directly via the links in the description down below, but shameless self-promotion out of the way. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a fantastic weekend until the next one. And we'll try and get focused on one particular project, but no promises until then this is move the mouse signing off. <laughs>